this is an ultrasound study of a 58 years old female presenting with protuberant abdomen. Here we are seeing the uterus in longitudinal section measuring approximately 8.1 by 3.7 cm normal in dimension and the, because she is in postmenopausal phase that's why you are seeing some myometrial changes. However, this is the myometrium and this is the endometrial canal in transfer section of this female. And uh, this is the ovary. This is the ovary, the left ovary, whereas, uh, and now the endometrial canal, if you see, In the endometrial canal, there is a small polypoidal area. Here you see. This is the polypoidal area hanging from this tiny stalk into the fluid filled endometrial canal of this 58 years old female. So until unless proven otherwise, this is uh, considered as a polyp and this is the endometrial canal. which is clear in consistency and uh, the, this polyp measures approximately 9.2 by 3.5 millimeters and it is hanging from the anterior wall of the endometrial canal. Here you can see this is the anterior margin. Now this is the myometry. This is a magnified view. Here it is in longitudinal section. This is the benefit of magnifying uh, the area of interest at times because uh, in routine magnification we can miss these uh, findings. So this is uh, in longitudinal section you again see an ecogenic mass without any uh, or area rather I will say, the ecogenic area that is uh, hanging away from the anterior uterine wall into the dilated endometrial canal, fluid filled endometrial canal. Uh, this is the finding so far as the uterus is concerned. Now coming to the normal magnification of ultrasound. On the left side, when I move the probe towards the left at next side, we don't see any ovary on the side, rather we see a large mass with, the, now this is a, actually cystic mass. This is all cystic mass. This is all cyst, black area. And you can see the ecogenic area fixed with its posterior wall and uh, this uh, <coughs> this is the ecogenic area that is uh, fixed with the posterior wall of the mystic appearance no echoes no calcification seen in the cyst so far and uh, now this is the boundary line between the urinary bladder and the cyst. This is the uterus, urinary bladder, and here starts the cyst, and it can, you can trace it up to the epigastric region. Here, this is the epigastric region. I am coming from the epigastric region downwards, and uh, it's clear in its anterior segment. Expands on both sides of the midline and then extends into the pelvic cavity.
so this is a uh, this is a sister of aggressive nature in a 58 years old female and it's so large that it pushes it is pushing the liver upwards and we see hydronephrosis in the right kidney because of now this is the right kidney this is the upper fold, lower fold and these are the dilated calluses this is the ureter, proximal ureter it is because of the pressure effect from the large cyst on the right ureter otherwise not because of some intrinsic uh, pathology of the <coughs> kidney itself now left side passer on the left side again the spleen is pushed upwards and the left kidney is preserved by pressure effect and we don't see any significant degree of hydronephrosis in this kidney. This is the left kidney. So, Thank you very much. This is the case of today.